Here we have internal labels and external ones. Now we'll add the object's description in a box. It will be placed on this location. These two external labels have to sidestep the box. Next, we are moving and rotating the model. Internal and external labels will follow it. As you can see, the box's size and position is changing, according to the available space and the position of the object. If there is not sufficient space, it changes to a new placement. Now, how does our layout work? These are the box candidates. The green one has currently the best score. This is the object's orbit, the external labels candidates. The internal labels are placed on salient regions. While interacting with the model, the labels are placed on the best candidates. Now, we'll switch off the agents. The box jumps each frame. The internal and external labels are not frame coherent as well. If the agents are switched off, each frame a new layout for the labels is determined. Switching the agents on. Now the box is smoothly shifting and shrinks, if necessary. Only if there is no way out, it searches for a new placement. Let's look on the internal label's coherency. Zooming with agents. The weights for the metrics of all label types are adjustable. An example with external labels. Let's say, short reference lines are not important. And we make the labels lazier. If possible, the labels remain on their positions. Now we make them more agile again. And define, that short reference lines are more important. Now we want to have only straight labels. According to the angles we set, Different label styles are possible. Just click on an object to get its description. 
a new layout for the boxes and labels is found, according to the available space. By double-clicking on a box, we get some controls. The object's description minimizes to a caption. Boxes can also be pinned. The annotations can easily be edited. Just right-click on the desired object and type in plain text or HTML. An example using the clipboard. Finally, with multiple XML files, different contexts and language descriptions can be stored.